African countries are confidently gaining political and economic weight and are being established as important pillars of the multipolar system of the world. They are taking a more active part in the development of decisions by the international community on key issues of the region and global agenda. On day two, we heard Vladimir Putin and his guests. Let me just remind you that more than 40 African leaders are here in Sochi. Well, yes, the heads of state were at a round table and uh, they were sharing their views and vision, not only on how Russia can do business with all these African nations, but also uh, more on politics and uh, the security side of it. And uh, Mr. Putin began uh, by saying, as you've mentioned, that despite uh, maybe lacking economic strength in some cases, the African countries are becoming part of a solid foundation for a multipolar world. And then uh, President Putin went on to talk about the issues that are currently uh, troubling Africa. And among these, he uh, did even mention the Arab Spring, which, as we remember, was widely welcomed by Western countries. So let's take a listen to what exactly Mr. Putin said. The development of African countries is hindered by terrorism, the spread of extremist ideologies, transnational crimes and piracy. Many countries are faced with the consequences of the so-called Arab Spring, as a result of which the situation in all of North Africa is destabilized. Well, obviously, I have spoken to quite a few officials from uh, the African countries at the forum, and they have told me that uh, it's widely seen on the continent that most of these issues have been imported from abroad. Although. They're saying that Russia has nothing to do with it because Russia kept coming to Africa only uh, with peace. Something else very important that I kept hearing throughout these two days was that Russia never colonized any countries in Africa. And that deserves a great deal of respect uh, from all the African nations. And uh, they're also telling me that the fact uh, that Moscow isn't desperately rushing to do business with Africa and to get involved in everything that's happening politically on the continent is a rather a good thing, not a bad thing. And that deserves respect as well. Plus, I haven't seen a single representative of the African community here who doesn't believe that, indeed, Russia's approach isn't about exploiting the uh, countries on the African continent and their natural resources. Although fingers have been pointed at the former colonial powers in the past, and uh, this message is still being echoed today here in Sanchi.